name is Natalia and welcome to this channel. Today we're gonna talk about STLC, Software Testing Lifecycle. And why it's important for you as a software tester to know about this life cycle and what are the stages of this process. And this channel is designed for those who would like to start their career as a software tester or for those people who already working as a software tester and would like to learn something new. Thank you so much for watching and please watch until the end and it will be very nice if you can share these videos with others. Software testing lifecycle contains several stages and each stage will describe some activity and will have some deliverables at the end of that stage. Let's go over stages first and after we can talk more detail about each stage. First stage is requirement analysis. Second stage is test planning. Third stage is test case development. Fourth stage is test environment setup. Fifth stage is test execution. And last stage is test reporting. The first stage is requirement analysis. In this stage, the test team, software testers, will review all requirements they need to deliver in this cycle. And they will gather all information they need from client, business analyst, product owner, system architects, whoever can clarify specific requirements the testers is working on. As a part of the stage, activities will be identify what type of testing needs to be performed and gather details about testing priority and focus. What are the main functionality which must be tested? What testing data is needed for it? What are acceptance criteria? Deliverables of this stage will be RTM, which stands for Requirement Traceability Matrix. That means we want to check that each acceptance criteria will be covered. That means we know exactly what needs to be tested and how we're gonna test it. Another deliverables for this stage can be automation feasibility report. If you know what can be automated, what is feasible for automation and what not, it's gonna be part of this requirement stage. Next stage is test planning. Once we understand requirements, we need to be more specific. We need to prepare a test plan. In the test plan, we're gonna specify testing strategy. That means what type of testing we're gonna perform how many test cases we would like to write, what is our definition of ready, does that mean when we can start testing, what is our definition of done, which means when we say the testing is complete and we have everything for that. The deliverables of this stage will be test plan, test estimation and test schedule. The next stage is test case development. This phase including of writing test cases and creating automation script if you are automation tester. We will identify each test case, we will write details for this test case, we will create all test cases with all steps, we will need to identify and create testing data we're gonna use. As the end product of this stage, we're gonna have written test cases, test data, completed automation test script, and we also will again check our RTM, requirement traceability matrix, make sure that all our test cases cover all requirements. Next stage is test environment setup, so we need to to make sure that we have all tools in order to perform our testing. An environment is combination of multiple hardware and software tools. As an automation tester, you need to make sure that you have automation framework where you can execute your automation script and you have environment which is up and running. You are not the one who gonna set up environment. We have DevOps team who responsible for environment, but in order for you to complete this stage, you wanna make sure that you have correct environment. The main goal of this stage to make sure we have replication of the environment and product which gonna be used by end users and it's testable. Next stage is test execution. During this stage you're gonna execute your manual and automation test cases. If it's manual testing you're gonna perform testing manually following by your test cases you already prepared. If it's automation testing then you're gonna run your test scripts and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do. As a result of this stage we're gonna have defects reports where we're gonna log all defects which are found by automation or by manual testing. These defects will be sent back to development team. Development team will fix them and send to our testing team for retesting. And as a tester, you wanna retest all defects. And by the end of this test execution, you need to prepare your test results and defect report. Last stage is test closure. It means analyzing everything you have done through all the stages 
changes and if anything needs to be done better also doing the final reports analyzing if everything works as expected so this is software testing life cycle it can be taken as a general for a testers on the project if we're talking on the high level but also this software testing life cycle you perform every day at your work as a tester during your work activities because once you receive a user story you will gather requirements you will ask questions then you will create a test plan like logic how you're gonna test this specific user story how many test cases you're gonna write what exactly do you need what type of testing you're gonna perform then you will create your test cases you will write your automation script after that you will make sure you have everything ready in order for you to execute your test scripts your environment is up you have testing data you have a users you're gonna use for this testing then you're gonna execute your test cases and you're gonna find defects you're gonna log defects you're gonna retest your defects and after that you're gonna come out with your report with a bug report with a testing report and analyze how the testing was done this stlc process applies for your day-to-day -day activity as a tester but also as a general for any testing on the software project and that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video until the end and hope to see you in my next videos